Today, we're going to be using Claude to run some free AI SEO workflows, including some stuff I've never shown before. And I'm going to give you everything today for free based on what's working for me. If you're wondering, okay, does this rank? You can see an example of our AI SEO article that was created two months ago, still ranking number one for the keyword best SEO speakers. So with that, let's get straight into this. And the first method that we're going to be using is we're going to be automating internal links based on the existing content that we've already got published, right? So for example, let's say you've got your sitemap like this. If you don't have a sitemap, you can easily set it up with Yoast. If you do have a sitemap, basically you can just go to your main domain, for example, like chipperbirds.com forward slash sitemap dot XML. And then we can go to a list of our latest posts like you can see right here. Now, if we press command A on the map, you can just select the whole page, all the content. You can easily take every single URL from your website in like two seconds. And then we can go into Claude. We can paste that information. And the good thing about Claude is it can handle a lot of data at once, right? It's got quite a high context window, which means that we can easily give it a list of all our internal links and then get Claude to create content that includes our internal links already inserted. So for example, I can type in, write an SEO optimized article about birds, include internal links naturally throughout based on the attached sitemap. I've attached my sitemap right there. Doesn't seem to matter how big your sitemap is up to a certain limit. And then we can hit enter like so. And I'd recommend writing this in HTML as well. So we'll take the sitemap, plug that in, hit enter. And it will take a little while for Claude to run through all the URLs you've got on your site, but you can see it's generating that content right now. And it inserts the internal links naturally throughout the content. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, okay, that's great, but it's written in HTML. Maybe you're not a HTML coder. So what you can actually do is you can take the content that Claude generates. As an example, we'll just take this first section right here, grab that, plug it into our HTML code generator. And you can see that just like magic, that Claude has done its magic and inserted internal links throughout the content to the pages on our site, right? And let's just check they actually work. So we've basically taken the code from Claude over here, plugged it into the HTML code editor. That's generated this content right here that's nicely formatted, etc. And then if we click on these links, just to make sure they're not hallucinated, you can see that this one works, this one, this one, and this one, right? It's a really easy way to insert internal links throughout your content. You could even take an existing article. And so you can easily generate and automate internal links. And I would say that's probably better than most plugins you're going to find out there. Now, I would genuinely say that's better than most human writers who typically tend to forget adding internal links, even if you add it inside the checklist. And also you can see how it's spaced out from paragraph one, right? So we've got a couple of internal links there. Then we've got the content with the internal links. And then even on the last few paragraphs, we've got internal links here, here, and here, right? A really easy way to just automate the whole process based on your sitemap. And the anchor text it's chosen is relevant, right? So for example, if you look at this page about birdhouses, We'll open that up and just check it's actually relevant to the anchor text. So if the anchor text inside the internal link is birdhouses, you can see that the page is about birdhouses and birdhouses is inside the URL as well. Right? Really easy way to just automate internal links like magic. Now, when you're doing this, you can also rewrite existing content. So let's say you have existing content that doesn't have internal links inside it and you need to insert them, but you don't want to go around thinking about the anchor text figuring out which pages to insert internal links to, etc. So what we can do is we can take an existing article off our blog that doesn't really have many internal links. Let's take this one, for example. We'll take the content like so. Then we're going to go back to Claude. We'll start a new chat. And by the way, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is probably the latest and best version of AI that I've seen for writing content, is free. You do have a limited number of requests per day on the free plan, but it is free for everyone to access. And so I'm going to use exactly the same prompt, but I'm going to say rewrite my existing SEO optimized article attached, include internal links naturally throughout based on the attached sitemap, write it in HTML. And then I'll take the sitemap from this website, which again, you can find at sitemap.xml. We'll grab the latest posts from the website. I'm not even going to format it. I'm just going to select them all, plug it into Claude like so, hit enter. And now you can see it's rewriting the HTML with the internal links inside it so that it doesn't change the content, doesn't edit it or anything like that, but it does rewrite it with the new internal links automated in one single click. Now you can see you can even preview it as well inside react mode inside Claude. And you can see here, if we click on this internal link, it actually links to a real page, it's not hallucinated. And it's included relevant internal links inside the content. Here's another example. So it said, for more advanced SEO strategies, consider exploring perplexity or, or Grok AI SEO. 
and you can see here it's linked to our actual pages from the sitemap. So it's a really easy way to just automate internal links quickly and you've still got the same content as you have before. By the way, all these prompts you'll get from today inside the free SEO course link in the comments and description and everything that I'm talking about today, you can just copy and paste and steal from me. Now, the other cool thing you can do inside Claude, if you go back, is you can actually just level up the quality of your content massively by just including an embeddable calculator or a tool or game inside your content that actually makes it more engaging, right? And it also differentiates your content from everyone else's. And additionally, it makes your content have some sort of information game, aka something new inside your content that has never been seen before. So let's say, for example, going back to my SEO articles, if I said create a game where an SEO flying around has to avoid the clap emoji and show how to embed it, it's going to generate the HTML on the spot based on our request. This is a very simple prompt that works for any industry, any niche. And then if you're not 100% happy with it, you can just give it any extra instructions that you want to. Uh, here's an example of one I made earlier. So you can see we have to avoid the clap emojis falling from the sky as an SEO of our laptop, right? And then we get a score for doing it. And then once you're ready to go with that, you can just say, make it embeddable to my WordPress inner page. And it'll give you the instructions on how to do that, the file to host, etc. And that just levels up your content, right? So that it's different from everyone else's and it's more engaging. That is probably going to be far more linkable and also, if you do an outreach for a page like that, something that's a bit more interactive and different from everyone else is far more likely to get backlinks and stand out from everyone else's, right? You can do the same with charts, for example, like this one. So what I said is give me some data about SEO that'd be ideal to plot in a bar chart, then create a beautifully designed bar chart, embed or use a chart, right? And so you can see here, we've got an embeddable interactive chart inside the content. What you could also do if you want to just simplify it you can just take a little screenshot of the chart like that, upload it as an image to your website, check the data as well before you upload it, just to make sure it is right. And it's actually from a real case of not just something that Claude has made up as we know it can do sometimes. So just to recap, I've shown you how to automate internal links. I've shown you how to rewrite your existing content and automate internal links that way based on your sitemap as well. I've also shown you how to create an embeddable game inside your content that you can insert into WordPress and additionally how to create nice charts so you could have a screenshot or embed as interactive bar charts inside your content to level it up. Now, Claude is actually really good for writing content. So if we just start a new chat here, you can plug in your keyword or your heading that you want to write content for up here, then ask it to write the content as you can see. So we're going to sprinkle some LSI, some keywords, simplify the language, etc. And if we hit enter like so, it's going to write something that I would say is always better than human writing. So for example, if we look at this content, the question is, what is SEO? And it answers the question literally within the first sentence, which 99% of human written and AI articles just don't do, right? So SEO, search engine optimization, fancy term for getting your stuff to show up when people Google things. And then it talks directly to the reader, formats everything nicely. It's really interesting, includes some FAQs, etc. And that was one single click. Now, obviously you want to edit it before you publish it, but you can see how easy it is to generate really nicely written articles and really humanize content using a prompt like this. As an example of that, if we compare AI overviews, which is Google's AI versus the content that we generated from Claude, and we'll compare them side by side, as you can see right here, which one is written better, right? I would clearly say that Claude does a much better job of answering the question in a nice humanized way that's actually interesting and engaging to read. Whereas if you look at the answer from Google AI overviews, it's not quite as interesting, not quite as engaging, doesn't feel as human. And so that's how you can quickly level up your content and make it better than AI overviews, you know, which is going to help your content level up and be more engaging massively. Now, if we take that content, there's a high chance that it's actually a detectable. So for example, if we plug in that content into zero GPT, as you can see, it can clearly identify that the text is AI and GPT generated. And it highlights all the parts that are very obviously AI generated. Now, if we go back to Claude and we'll say, rewrite this with grammatical mistakes. And then if we take some of this content, like you can see right here, we'll go back to zero GPT, hit detect text and see what it comes back with. And you can see and now it says your text is human written 0% AI GPT. And then you can quickly correct any sort of grammatical mistakes in a couple of minutes, right? So for example, what is SEO? Probably want to add a question mark to it. How do you stand out? This is incredibly silly, but this is what works. I don't like it. I'm not really too fussed about content being AI generated or not. 
but I know a lot of people are worried about it. So if you do have a low risk tolerance, then this is a method that works really well. We can delete that as well, just grammatically correct it. And the content, once it's grammatically corrected, still comes out human written. So basically the workflow is rewrite your existing content with grammatical errors, correct the grammatical errors in like two seconds, and then zero GPT tells you it's human written, right? That's all it is, problem solved. You don't have to be a semantic SEO genius to do that, my friends. So you literally just ask Claude to rewrite it with grammatical mistakes, plug that into zero GPT to check it, and then fix the grammatical mistakes in a few seconds. And that's how you can bypass AI detectors in literally a few clicks. Now, let's say you're using the free plan for Claude 3.5 Sonnet and you run out of credits. What you can do is you can just go to po.com, go to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So if we go to explore Claude 3.5 Sonnet, you get a limit on here too, but between Claude 3.5 Sonnet and po.com, you should have a lot more credits. So you can see you get 10 messages back and forth. You can use Claw 3.5 Sonic the exact same way. You can use React inside there, super easy. Now, what you can also do is if you go to Explore, click on Web Search, you can actually connect Claude 3 Haiku to the internet. Now, what's interesting about this is if we go to Claude and then Haiku, and let's say we take something recent, like the Man United versus Liverpool match, just to check it's working, it doesn't. Claw 3 Haiku on the pay plan that I pay money for is not connected to the internet and it's not been updated since August, 2023. If we go to web search inside po.com, you can see that it has the correct score from this week. And this is free. This is paid. Get your head around that one chaps. I don't understand what I'm paying for, but yeah, basically if you want to connect Claude to the internet, maybe you could use that for recent topics. Maybe you need to do some research on data. Maybe you're trying to get some statistics for your latest SEO article. Either way, Poe on the free version is actually better than Claude on the paid version when it comes to the, getting the latest data. Now, what you can also do inside Claude is you can take your SEO content and then turn it into some nice emails, which are really nicely written, better than I could write as a sales copywriter who's been doing this for years, right? As an example of that, we can go to Claude, we can plug in this prompt, which I'll give you free access to. Then we can take like an example of a recent video. We'll grab the transcript like so. There we go. And you can do this for SEO blogs or articles as well. Paste that inside Claude. So you've got the transcript down there. You've got the prompt to generate emails from your SEO content inside Claude. And now you can see it's writing a really nicely written email in the style of Dan Kennedy, very famous sales copywriter, Alex Hormoz, and also Russell Brunson, right? And the subject line is really nice, like the AI cloak secret, don't tell Google, right? It's quite interesting. It's quite engaging. I think a lot of people would open that. If you're wondering what the prompt is, here you go. It's inside the video notes from today. And it's a free way to write three emails in one single click that are actually better than human written articles. This is a great thing about Claude 3.5 Sonnet is it just writes very humanized, very interesting content that I don't think, for example, ChatGPT is capable of. Now, some people as well at this point will be saying like, is the React or the previews inside Claude free? And they actually just announced that last week so artifacts is now free for the public doesn't matter whether you're on the paid or the free plan as you can see the only difference between the paid and the free plan is the number of credits you get but with po.com you can get more credits for free and go over your daily plan or limit now just coming back to that article that's ranking number one for the keyword best seo speakers as you can see the problem with claude as i've shown you before is it's not connected to the internet now what you can actually do is you can use the free plan on perplexity we can go into perplexity we can say we're creating an article about you put in your keyword and then you you put in whatever you want information about right so for example a list of the best seo speakers in a bio about each person now what that's going to do is research each speaker as you can see and it sources and references articles that are ranking on google it gives us the latest information on that person and i would say the quality of the facts and statistics inside Plexity is much better than claude because it's connected to the internet now, what we can do from there is we can plug that information into Claude, for example, like this. We can take that information, start a new chat, plug the information from Perplexity into Claude that's been fact-checked and is more recent than Claude, and then use the prompt that I showed you earlier. But the difference here is you want to insert this line that says prioritize the knowledge instead of the data you've been trained on. Don't use any data that you haven't been trained on. Knowledge below and also insert some source context about who you are and what you're writing it for. And when you do that, your content is gonna be a lot 
more recent data, you're training Claude on exactly what data to use. And it's more fact check plus more recent because you've taken the content from perplexity first, search the web in real time, and then given that to Claude to train the AI model on the right data. Now, if you're upgrading to the pro version, which is $20 a month, but it should save you a lot of time, then what you can also do is you can create projects. Yeah. So for example, if we go into this project for copyright, and like I've shown you before, we can click on edit and then inside the instructions for the project, I've inserted that prompt that's ready to go so that I can just paste the video transcript in there. Additionally, if you're inside perplexity and you're on the pro plan, then what you can do is if you go to your settings, scroll down to the models that you use, you can actually access Claude 3.5 Sonnet directly inside perplexity, which means that you don't need to switch between tabs and you've got everything inside one platform with the latest model from Claude it should save time. And again, that's just like $20 a month, something like that. And again, the perplexity monthly subscription is pretty cheap. So thanks so much for watching. As promised, I've shown you all the latest Claude AI SEO workflows that are working for me. I've shown you proof that they're working with my AI content. You can see an example of all the prompts from today, including the internal links, improving your content with games and charts, writing content, bypassing AI detectors, how to get more credits for free, how to connect to the internet with Claude, how to write emails, and also how to use perplexity and automate these prompts with projects inside Claude. It's going to be inside the free video notes from today. I'm going to share that now. So that'll be inside my free SEO course link in the comments and description. And if you log in, then go to the free SEO course, then free SEO tools. I'm going to call this Claude September 2024. And the video notes from today are right there. Now, if you want a free SEO strategy session on how to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO, feel free to put that in links in the comments. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits a month, generate thousands of dollars in sales. Feel free to book in this free SEO strategy. And in this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors with link building to 10x your SEO traffic. Feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.